Hello everyone, this is Cricket World TV. I'm Jim White, John Pennington with me. Hello Jim, lovely to be here. And another great day of cricket. Uh, one match that was almost a dead rubber but it still had uh, potential to have an effect on the outcome of today's matches. John, what's happened overall today? Well, South Africa confirmed their place in the semi-finals as group winners of Group E. They beat India by 12 runs and earlier in the day Sri Lanka qualified as winners of their group by beating New Zealand by 48 runs. That was a bit of a thumping, really. And uh, we've just been watching the uh, the end of the game, and India didn't really get back into the game, having actually done quite well at the start. That's right. I mean, South Africa got off to a good start. Stunning innings from A.B. de Villiers. Yeah, they only reached 130. Tony only used eight bowlers. Lots of spin. Really brought them back in the game. And when they batted, they got to 48 without loss. And then South Africa spinners came to the game and were just as effective, if not more so, in putting the back. They only made 118 for eight, so they go home having scored no points in the Super 8, and who would have predicted that? And there was a situation there where, if, I think it was at 15.4 overs, India could have changed the, the positions of, of yeah, they, West Indies. Yeah, they had to have uh, chased them under very quickly, but well, I suppose they set off quickly enough, and there was a, a possibility that it was going to happen once South Africa chipped in with wickets, they were always going to go through as group winners. Okay, and earlier in the day we saw Sri Lanka and New Zealand uh, again well supported uh, these games, and uh, and what happened there? Well, Sri Lanka very impressive again. They made 158 for five. Dilshan he moved into the lead at the top of the run scorers chart with a 48, and a really good innings from Mahalo Jai Wagner, 41 not out despite Dan Vittori taking two for 32. 158 was enough. I mean, New Zealand have got they've had problems with injuries, but their batting has just lacked any sort of substance. As soon as you get past the top three, the the rest has folded like a pack of cars on the road. 110 all out, bowled out with three overs to spare. That's a big worry. Martin Guptill played really well for his 43. He was distraught when he lost his wicket. Ajanta Mendes, 3 for 9. Isaru Udana, 2 for 17. Pick of the bowlers. Sri Lanka, South Africa final. Well, they've been the two, they're the two unbeaten teams so far. Who knows? Well, it's uh, a rest day, if you like, for us. <laughs> for the first time in a long time um, for the World 2020. Uh, yes, poor New Zealand were today. Um, but Sri Lanka and South Africa are marching forward to the semi-finals, and uh, so how does it all pan out now? Well, they don't, they can't meet until the final, but uh, who knows? They might not get there. South Africa take on Pakistan on Thursday. That's the first semi-final at Trent Bridge, and on Friday the second semi-final between Sri Lanka and the West Indies. We've also got the women's semi-finals as well, of course. New Zealand take on India on Thursday. Australia take on England on Friday. Both of those sides want today to. Uh, well, England were already confirmed as group winners. Australia had to win. They beat South Africa to confirm, confirm their place in the semi finals. The final, of course, on Sunday. Can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. Um, double headers from here on in with the women playing before the men. Fantastic women's cricket. Brilliant. And uh, we've had a great day here. Again, commentating. It's been some uh, marvellous cricket and well done to the winning teams. Commiserations, I think, particularly to India, who would have been fans as one of the favourites before the tournament. To and uh, can anyone stop South Africa? I think they can do. If anyone can, I think the West Indians can, but uh, and that's only if they really turn up like they did uh, yesterday against England. It's going to be great to watch. We hope you join us here on Cricket World TV.